My home screen at the moment has two simple designs, a section for any pillar series or shows that I'm working on, and a simple concept for a content calendar. But last night, a question popped into my head. What if I want to see a series or a show from only one specific platform? I have no way to really do that right now. And making that possible without making my home screen too busy was going to be another challenge. I also noticed yesterday that Claude 4.5 was released, so I decided I would give that a run for the first time and see how quickly I could put together a design I was happy with. But if you don't know, my name is Ricky. I'm building my dream content planning app and sharing all of my lessons learned along the way. Pretty much only use Claude models to design with. I played a bit with ChatGPT5, but I think it's better for reasoning and writing than it is designing. I started out by giving a quick description of the new component I want to Claude using cursor. I told Claude that I wanted a filter button for each social platform and I wanted them aligned in a horizontal stack. And for each button, I only needed two items, an image for the logo and a string of text for the name of the platform. Those two things would be stacked on top of each other and would both react whenever the filter button is clicked. This is what the first iteration looked like. One thing I'm definitely learning is that Xcode is trash. Oh, that doesn't look bad at all. It's got like some little gradients and stuff in it. Up here at the top, I've got it. And I'm actually looking at it for the first time too. So um, nice little segment at the top for platforms. I wonder if this is drag, it is draggable. Very nice. Interesting, there's a select all button here. Nice little smooth animations already built in. It's kind of badass. Honestly, I'm pretty impressed. This is the nicest something has looked after the first generation. This is a good start, but this kind of takes up a lot of space at the top. I knew I could compress it by getting rid of that select all button and the heading for platforms. I think the component itself is pretty self-explanatory. So I removed those two pieces of text and it was still taking up a whole bunch of space. I realized that the background that Claude had added wasn't really necessary, wasn't adding anything to the design. And if you think about it, the home screen, the top of the home screen is like prime real estate. So you wanna make sure that, you know, it's it's got the most important thing in the app there, which kind of got me thinking. All right, so I have a better idea actually. I don't know if I want to put the filters up at the very top. It might actually make more sense because I have this uh, long form and short form buttons here for these content pillars. So my crazy thought is try to put the filters underneath and replace this long form, short form thing um, and see how it goes. I did ask Claude to make it obvious for the on and off states of the filter to look different, but I didn't give it any details on how to animate it or transition the cards out of there. It really could have done anything, but instead it came up with something that actually looks pretty pleasing to the eye. I've used Claude 4.0 in the past a lot for little design requests and it usually works, but the animation details are something that I've always had to dial in on my own. Major update, this is working fabulously right now. All of these cards, are showing because all of the platforms are enabled. But if I get rid of, say, YouTube, it automatically gets rid of that. And I can just go one by one here and get rid of them. And it will automatically get rid of it for me. And when I finish, they all disappear. So what I'm thinking here is at the end, I could have um, a little button to allow me to set my preferences so that I don't have this huge list of every possible social platform. I would only have the ones that I'm actually interested in posting in right now. One of the bigger things that I've learned with content creation is that it's best to have one platform that you're fully focused on and then one or two that more or less just you're posting on it to do it but it's not like your main focus. So like with YouTube, if I could set that as my primary platform in the app, that would be great. And then any of the other maintenance platforms that I'm actually posting on, um, I could add that there too. So, you know, every platform requires its own level of effort. I think just realistically, as I'm going through this, like that's how I would use the app. I don't think I would um, have all of them just for the sake of having them. But as soon as I get that in there, I think I have pretty much solved this. All right, so for last update, I got this settings button to appear at the end of my filters. So when I click it, it brings up this sheet and I'm able to choose my 
primary platform of focus out of the ones available. And then the more maintenance platforms here that I'm interested in. Um, and the ability to hide and show the inactive platforms, the one that haven't, the ones that haven't been uh, selected here down at the bottom. And that's for the most part what I can think of that I wanted to be able to do. So just to show you it actually working, I'm gonna keep YouTube as the primary. I'm gonna get rid of LinkedIn, Facebook, and just keep Instagram, Threads, and X. Click done, and only those four now show up. So I can click any of these, kind of get rid of everything, and I'll end up with, oh, a bug. I'll end up with a bug is what I'll end up with, so I'll have to fix that. While doing this little experiment, the thing I noticed is Claude 4.5's attention to animation and transition. You can see it in both the filters and the way the cards leave the screen. When a filter is enabled, it enlarges the size of the logo and the name of the platform pretty smoothly. It also fills it with color. It's a subtle difference, and I know there's a lot of improvements I could make from here, but it's interesting to think about how this is the worst that these models are ever going to be. Thank you.